Hi there, it's Tim G5TM, and if you're new to the channel, think about clicking subscribing and that notification bell for any future videos. And if you're a returner, even if you're mad enough to be a regular, good to have you back. Now, you may have seen recently in a few of my videos that I've been experimenting a little bit with my mobile setup, um, just trying a few things out. And I've been using then uh, a tuner inside the uh, inside the car. And I've shortened the coax run from my uh, HF antenna on the roof into the car. Now, I've made a couple of changes to that, one of which is the antenna itself, and we'll cover that in another video. What I've done today, though, is change a little bit about what's happening inside the car. Yeah, just very quickly then, what we've got, we've got the uh, tracer battery, which is the same as before. As we'll pan down in a second, we've got the uh, choke there with the antenna going in, the coax, nothing new there. But what we have new is from the choke, it goes in now to the new tuner I've got, which is the LDG RT100 tuner. And that's the, the new situation. Now, a few months ago, I acquired the LDG RT100 tuner which works in conjunction with what's called a bias T, a little black box that comes with it that sends a bit of DC back up the coax to allow the tuner to do its thing. Now, the beauty of this tuner is, and the reason why I got it, is because it's actually quite compatible with, with all rigs, but especially with Yezu radios. I own the Yezu FT891, of which I am a big fan of. Um, and, of course, the thing about Yezu, uh, a, lot, a lot of Yezu transceivers, more modern ones, is they have the ATAS function, which, of course, is meant to be used in conjunction with their ATAS screwdriver antenna, which costs just around £300 in the UK. Now, what I've got and done is done a bit of research, and the LDG tuner I've got, the RT100, is actually compatible to be used with the uh, Yezu rigs uh, in a TAS mode. Let me show you what I've done. Right, before I show you how to uh, do the actual tuning using the ATAS mode and the LDG tuner, uh, I'll just put a couple of things up on the screen for you, The uh, and you can pause it after this. So the first page I'll show you in a second is taken from the Yezu 891 manual and shows you how to activate the ATAS mode. You can see the ATAS mode is shown by the letters ATS in the top left of the screen there. And then the second thing I'll do, uh, the second screen, will be how to actually use the ATAS mode in conjunction with the LDG tuner itself and that's taken from think from the LDG instructions all right so what we do to actually activate a TAS in this way uh, in conjunction with the LDG tuner is you use the P obviously you key down on PTT on the side there and you press the up button at the same time on the microphone all right so I'm going to try and do this one-handed so bear with me notice I've chosen FM we're just putting up five watts on FM so you don't want to carry more than about 10 watts five watts is plenty so let me key down and press the up button. And the tuner's doing its thing. You just keep it pressed in. Just keep it pressed in. There you go. 1.1, 1.2 The other beauty about this setup is, and the main reason why I'm doing this, is because the tuner, because it takes the... Uh, and a bit of power for, uh, back up the coax in ATAS mode doesn't require any other source of 12 volt power. So I can just settle the tuner anywhere in the car, connect it with coax to the radio and off I go. And that's what makes it, I think, a really uh, attractive little setup. It's good for up to about 100, 100 watts, 120 watts, I think. Tunes anywhere from, uh, I think it's, not sure if it even goes to top band, but certainly 80 metres up to 6 metres. I'm only interested in running in this particular guy is probably from 10 through 20, maybe 6 there's an opening. Well, thanks for joining me. And uh, if you fancy coming along again, it'd be great to have you back. And as I say, think about, think about clicking subscribe. I'll leave that little uh, click there for you. And if you want to see another video about me operating mobile on HF, I'll leave the link up there. 73 and uh, enjoy your radio. Bye-bye.